If you want to know more about what's going on with me, don't forget to follow my Facebook, my Twitter, Google Plus, and Tumblr page, and also my website at artistrage.com. I put special updates on those pages that I don't always put in my videos. Hey guys, welcome to Artist Rage. This week we are painting a creeper from Minecraft on these cute mini canvases. Now before we get started, I wanted to say I'm sorry I was gone for two weeks. I got really, really sick and every time I kept trying to make these videos, I, I couldn't talk very well and I sounded very, very sick. But now I'm doing much better, so here we are. And with that said, don't forget to check out my website at artistrage.com and sign up for my monthly art newsletter. In the newsletter, I give out tips and tricks to help you complete your art piece that you may be working on. Don't forget to check out my Etsy store as well. The link to that is in the description of the video. You can buy some artwork from me and uh, the painting that I'm doing today will be in Etsy. So you can buy the little creeper on Etsy. But uh, we haven't made him yet. So let's go ahead and make him. And if you don't want to make him, you can buy him. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So once you have your grid drawn out, let's go ahead and mix our paint colors. We're only using four different colors to do our creeper. And it's going to be uh, acrylic paint. And we have a hooker's green, a sap green, a titanium white, and a Payne's gray. And don't worry about what I just said because you can just go ahead and look at the uh, description of the video and check out the supply list there. Okay, so let's go ahead and mix our colors. So first we're going to lay out a bit of our hooker's green, then a bit of sap green. And now in the next pot, I'm going to do sap green and some white. And then I'm going to, in this next pot, go ahead and put white and put a little less green. Do about that and we'll add more if we need in a minute. See just a little bit of green, lots of white in this one, about equal amounts of green and white here, just the sap green and just the hooker's green. And right here I'm going to do just a little dab again of the green. And over here on my palette I'm going to put some white, just a touch, I'm not even going to squirt out just a touch of black. Then over here I'm going to do black, and over here I'm going to do white just in case we need more. Here, I'm going to mix, I'll get it bigger. I usually have a palette knife to do this, but I'm missing it at the moment. Anyways, I'm going to mix a little bit of the black into the white, make a gray. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of this green and put it into the gray and maybe a bit more. What I'm trying to make is a kind of a muted light green color. So I made a gray and then I mixed a little bit of the green, the sap green, into there. Alright, so I'm going to wash out my brush and then I'm going to make this light green color. So I'm going to take a little bit of the dark and mix it in with this white. A bit more. If I decide I want a little bit more green in there, I can just always add a bit more, but this is exactly what I want. So I'm washing up my brush again over here. So I'm going to just kind of mix all of this together. So this was the half green, half white mix. So it's kind of a middle minty green. All right, great. So I have all the colors that I need. Everything's mixed, that wasn't too hard. So once again, I have my hooker's green, sap green, the equal amounts of sap green and white, then the more white and less sap green mix, and then I have my a little bit of sap green and gray mixed together. And then I have black and white. Of course the white again is there if we need to um, make something lighter. Okay, let's go ahead and start painting. So you may be wondering if I'm going to tell you exactly where, oops, every single color should go on this canvas, where every different shade of green should go. No, I'm not going to do that. The only thing that's true for every single one of these mini paintings is where the eyes, nose, and mouth uh, is. Everything else, I can make this square a light green or a dark green or a middle green, it doesn't matter. 
Um, the only thing matters is that you don't have the same color side by side and the eyes, nose, and mouth are in the same spot. So let's go ahead and I will tell you exactly where to paint the eyes, nose, and mouth and then we'll go ahead and do our random green squares. So to paint the eyes, I am going to go one, two, three blocks over and then one, two, three to the third block down. That's going to be the top. So it's one, two, three over and one, two, three down. That's the first block. And then the second one is underneath it. And then over. So it's a two by two square. So let's go ahead and outline where the next eye is going to be. You're going to go two blocks over and then again. The nose is going to be right, on, right in between these two eyes. And then the mouth is one block over from the nose. And then down three. So the mouth goes one, two, three, takes up three blocks, and then you go over one, and then up, and then two blocks over, one block down, over, and then up three, then over one, then back up. Now we're going to fill this in. So we have our face. So now I'm going to let that dry, and while that dries, I'm going to go ahead and start filling in all the squares. I'm going to start with my darkest color, the hooker's green. I'm just going to color in whichever square I want with this dark green. I would recommend not using the darkest green near the eyes and the mouth. Do not use the same color next to one another. So I do not want this dark green to be here, here, or here. So I will move over to this black and color that dark green. Now the first two layers are going to be a little messy. That's right, you're going to first do this one time and then go over it again and then possibly over it again because you want it to be smooth. But the first layer may end up being a little, uh, not so good and a little messy. So I'm gonna go down two. So let's go ahead and fill in as many blocks as we want with the dark green. So I finished with my darkest shade of green around my creeper face. Um, the uh, spots that I started at are not dry yet, so I'm not going to do a second coat. I'm going to go ahead and use the next green on the palette, the uh, plain sap green. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this. Okay, so I've done the darkest green and then the next color on the palette and I have gone back over two times to make it a bit darker. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the next color on the palette, which is the minty green. Okay, we're getting there. So next color, the even lighter minty green. Now it's time for the last color. It's the gray green color that we made. Okay, so I've added every single color on our palette that we put out onto the creeper face. So the last thing is to cover the edges. And I'm going to choose just the plain sap green to do the edges with. You can choose any color that we made uh, to do the sides of your canvas. So we're done. Here's our little creeper face. Let me know how yours turned out. You can leave a comment in the video or you can tweet me a picture at Artist Rage. And uh, you can also leave a comment on my website or uh, you can email. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this project and if you didn't want to make it but you really like them, you can buy them on my Etsy store and you can find a link to that in the description. Alright guys, see you later. If you want to follow me and know more about Gigi, stop licking yourself. Stop.